This is 10 rounds. 10 rounds. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of JP Reviews. Today we have yet another rifle for you guys, but this one was bought by my brother. He allowed me to film a video with it, so shout out to him. And uh, yeah, we're gonna jump right in. This is a Henry Golden Boy lever action chamber and 22 Magnum. We're gonna unbox it here. Then we're gonna go take it to the range, show you guys how to load it, show you guys how it works, and uh, should you guys pick one up for fun, for hunting, or for what purpose. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my Savage Axe XP review chamber in 6.5 Creedmoor. Click that card right up there. Check that video out. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. And uh, without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Whoosh. All right, so here we have the Henry rifle. It's inside the box, looking nice. It's a pretty normal box, which you would expect to see. Uh, not too much stuff like Savage had in their box, but still okay. Um, you just bust this thing open right here, and inside we have the lever action Golden Boy. First thing we got is the manual. This manual goes for the 22 short, long, long rifle Magnum and 17 HMR. This one's chambered in 22 Magnum. So read this before anything. And uh, yeah, once you guys get this thing through, the rifle is sitting right here for you guys. All right, so let's bust this thing out of the plastic in here. Pretty simple. And there is your Henry Golden Boy. Beautiful, beautiful looking rifle. It has this little type of sock that's over the golden position just to make sure it looks nice. You just pull it out like so. And there is your Henry Golden Boy chamber and 22 magnum it looks nice as you guys can see has the engraving right there saying 22 magnum made in the usa by henry right there and uh so far the weight on this thing it feels like very very nice quality i believe the weight is about 6.5 pounds i think that's what it is when i checked in the manual it has a, these little flathead screwdrivers everywhere so that's the way this thing is put together this is what the lever looks like. It's not the one with the big loop. You can get it replaced though. And you also can mount a scope on this, but it has to go through here and then attach itself to this side. That's uh, a one way you can do it. Yeah, but it runs with a sight. It's supposed to be pretty good. All right, so the way this lever thing works, pretty simple. Down, lock, fire. Pretty, very, very, very easy. Actually, this one is pretty smooth for its action. As you guys can see, it's oiled very nicely straight out of the box. And if you want this rifle on safety, all you have to do is when you do load it, as you can see the hammer comes down, you point the gun at a safe direction, you hold this full hammer all the way down, press the trigger, and slowly proceed to put the hammer all the way to the end, just like that. So now the rifle's loaded, but since the hammer's not cocked back, it's totally on safety, and you won't be able to fire this no matter what happens until you reload the hammer, and then you guys will be ready to go. So that's one way to put this on safety, and that's pretty much it on safety wise you guys gotta gotta be really careful with this rifle because it is doesn't have a real safety but overall it looks nice it feels quality one thing i do wish this thing uh the henry golden boy did better was this hand grip right here i wish they put something that'll make it a little less slippery and easier to hold but aside from that it is not bad it'll get the job done it looks sweet all right so so far i'm loving this rifle let's go head to the car head to the range shoot this thing show you guys how to load the magazine and give you my final thoughts down there let's go with the range Two thousand years later all right so we made it here to the range we got a whole bunch of rifles we brought the shotgun brought my rossi if you want to see that rossi review i'll put a card right up here but right now we are focused on this henry lever action in 22 magnum we brought it here we're going to show you guys how it shoots and tell you guys if it's pretty accurate right outside of the box let's hope it is all right you may fire when
Let's see how that hit in the target down there. We're aiming at that little thing. It's about 30 yards away in the second burn. Bottom target. Let's see how accurate that thing was. These were all his shots. One of them almost hit the red, but it's fairly accurate at, uh, what was it? I think it was like 40 yards you were shooting. Not bad for just using the sights. Like, this would be almost a dead squirrel right there off that um, Henry lever action rifle. All right, so this is the way you load a Henry Magnum 22. It's pretty simple. You move this link to the outside. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little loop in there, very easy. Just push to the right and it's gonna come out. Take the little, right, what is that? It looks like them things from the old rifle. But pull it out. No, you need to pull it out. Oh, you can leave it right, right there. there. All you want is this. This little loop right here fits perfectly for a 22 Magnum. I believe this rifle can hold 12 of them, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Um, I never put it to the max, so I would put 11 just in case, but you, you want to go all 12, hey, you do you. Pretty simple, get all of them in there. All right, last one in, then you just put the ramrod, what I like to call it down, lock it back up in the lock position, as you guys can see, and your rifle is ship shape and ready to fire. All you gotta do is pull the lever and you're loaded. We got one final test for you guys, and that is how fast can this guy shoot 10 rounds on this 22 Magnum? I'm the Henry Golden Boy. Let's see how fast he does it. All right, you ready? Ready. Send it. Your time's going to start when you first shot. Fast as you can. Uh, no aiming. Is, this is 10 rounds. 10 rounds. Ready? That's it. That one landed right on his shoulder. I think that was pretty fast. All right, so after a complete day at the range using the Henry Golden Boy in Chamber and 22 uh, Magnum, what is your final thoughts of the rifle? I like it a lot. It's not that heavy. It's it's pretty light, you know, a little less than seven pounds. The action is very smooth. Uh, you can fire very quick rounds, and it's very easy to set up and just hit the target. So would you recommend this to people who want to be at the range plinking and potential squirrel hunters out there? Oh yeah, this is a very great gun. This is the first time I shoot any real gun, so it's great for beginners. I love it already. That's great. It's great. It looks pretty. It looks beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed the complete review. If you want to see my previous video, don't forget to button at the left. If you want to see the video, YouTube recommends. Hit the button at the right. If you want to join JPTV, hit the button at the top. So until next time, this is Josiah Nathaniel signing out. <laughs>